Hi. So today we're going to build a catapult out of popsicle sticks. Now, what is a catapult, you ask? A catapult, it's a machine used to throw or hurl a projectile great distances. So they used to use them back in the very, very olden days when they went to war and they would put the rocks, up, big rocks up in here, and they would whew, hurl them over to their enemies, try to hurt them. So that's what a catapult is. Now, there's different types of catapults. You might be more familiar with a slingshot. It's a type of catapult because you are pulling back your projectile and you're letting it go and it's going. Okay. All right, so in order to make your catapult, you're going to need popsicle sticks. Now, if you have bigger popsicle sticks, you can use them. I made one just set of small popsicle sticks, regular size, and it seemed to work just fine. But I'm gonna use the big ones today just so that's easier for you to see. So you will need about five popsicle sticks. Okay, put them all together like this. And then you're going to need elastic bands. All right, so your elastic band goes around and around and around and around. One end, and then around the other end, around and around until it's nice and tight. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Then you're going to take two more popsicle sticks and you're going to take the elastic band around the one end, around until it is tight. Right. Ask an adult for help if you don't think you can do that. And get it kind of down toward the end there. Now, we are going to place the big thick piece into these two. You see, like that. All the way down as far as you can go without breaking anything. Now this is the trickier part, and you might need a little bit of help with this. You want to take your elastic band, and you want to put these two together, and you want to make sure that it's in the middle, not, you know, off to the side, but kind of in the middle. And you want to crisscross it. So back and forth a few times one way, and then, whoops, it's kind of hard to do. Back and forth another few times the other way. All right, so it is down. It's sort of in the middle there, okay, there. See that? So now what you're going to do is you're going to glue a bottle cap onto the top part of your catapult, like so. Now you'll have to wait until it dries, of course. Make sure it's nice and dry. And then you can use pom-poms or miniature marshmallows to throw across the room. I'll show you in just a minute. So I'm back now and my glue has dried on my bottle cap. I've put it on here, see? Now, what you can do is you can use pom-poms or miniature marshmallows and put it in there. When you glue this on, make sure you leave a little bit of an edge for your finger to pull down. It just makes it easier. So you can put it right down flat on the table 
and hold on to the bottom stick, pull down, and let it go. And there it goes. Now, if you want it to go a little bit farther, you can hold it upwards like this. This is the small popsicle sticks, just so you can see that it does work. If you hold it up a little bit and pull down, whew, you can't see, but it went farther. It's fun if you can play with your friend or your brother or sister. You each make one and one of you on each end and see how many things you can get into each other's territory. So there you go. Those are catapults. Have fun. Send me a picture. Have a good day. Bye-bye.